I'm cooking tonight. My meals be gone. Cause it's so doggone good. So let's see. My meals keep coming. Oh, cooking a day. What you cooking today? Today I'm making chili. And sis, it is so darn good. You gon' want more than one bowl. I put that on my hood. You gon' get some spoon fills and gon' eat it with cornbread. And feed it to your family. And since it's gon' be late, oh, cooking on, no cooking on. You better subscribe to my channel below. Cooking on and cooking on. Subscribe to the channel below. Cooking on and cooking on. Subscribe to my channel below. <laughs> I was cooking in the kitchen. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so let's see what I got inside my bag. We have some chili powder. Gotta have that sea salt. Yo, Q. Man. Some frozen sweet corn kernels. Via life cheddar and mozzarella. Gotta have that unsalted vegetable stock. I ain't a player, I just crush a lot. Tomatoes. Some melanated beans. Woo, chile beans. Some Meg the Scallion. Ah. Red and green bell peppers. Oh, oh, oh. Let me holla at your pino. There is nothing like some fresh garlic, y'all. Cane Wayne with a sugar. Flaxseed meal. Some cone meal. <laughs> Unsweetened original plant based milk. A yellow bone onion. Bacon powder. I need bacon powder. Some everything flour, olive oil, and plant based butter. All right, y'all, so let's get Club 350 ready for this turn up, okay? So, first, we're gonna start with our veggies and start getting them all nice and ready. And we're gonna begin to cut it like a barber. And I'm starting off with my yellow onion, our green bell pepper, and our red bell pepper. We want to make sure we cut these things down into smaller pieces because we don't want thick chunks in our chili, okay? Because we ain't trying to choke. Now I'm moving on with our jalapeno. Make sure you are removing the seeds. And again, just like we did with the other veggies so far, you're going to cut them up real nice and small. And finally, we're going to take three cloves of garlic, peel it, and dice them up small too. Moving on to mission two, baby. So we're going to take two tablespoons of our plant-based butter and let it drop like a temperature into our pot. And just flick your wrist a little bit until it's all nice and melted down. Next, you're just going to make it rain with your chopped garlic into the pot because we just want them flavors from this garlic to be all up and through there, y'all. Trust me. Next, I am adding in two and a half bay leaves into my pot along with all of our chopped veggies. And then, you know, we're just gonna flick our wrist a little bit and just cook it through until our onions become translucent, okay? Next, we're gonna throw in one and a half cups of frozen corn into our pot as well. And again, we're gonna flick that wrist. Flick that wrist, hey. <laughs> Ooh, now we're gonna start making it rain like the paint is closing. So next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of chili powder. One tablespoon of yo men. <laughs> So now we're just gonna give this mixture and our seasonings our love and mix everything together, all of the above. Ooh, that girl a poet. <laughs> Let me stop. So next I am adding in one can of drained chili beans and one can of drained black beans into the pot. And look at the flick of the wrist. Hey, look at the flick of the wrist. Hey, we want these flavors doing through y'all. So now I am adding in one can of our crushed tomatoes into the pot. And you know, we just gonna let it hustle and flow, man. <laughs> like Terrence Howard. <laughs> 
and stir it around. We are not going to stop here because I don't like my chili super chunky and clunky. It just looks ugh to me. So we're just going to add in one cup of our unsalted veggie broth just to loosen it up a bit. And just want to add some additional flavor to our chili as well. So now we're just going to bring out some flavor like a guest speaker on a talk show. <laughs> and added a little over half a tablespoon of sea salt and two and a half tablespoons of our cane wane with a sugar. The reason why I add a little sugar is because I like to cut a little bit of that acidity out of this dish, okay? I just don't like too much of that acid taste. And lastly, I am gonna sprinkle in a little bit of our Vile Life mozzarella cheese and a little bit of our Vile Life cheddar shreds as well. And yes, this is vegan okay don't get it twisted <laughs> and then we're just gonna leave it alone and let it simmer on low moving on to mission three baby so now it's time to make our jalapeno cheddar cornbread so first i am starting with our flax egg by mixing two tablespoons of our flaxseed meal with six tablespoons of water and you know just blend that thing real nice and good Ooh, time to work on our batter. So now I am adding in half a cup of our cornmeal and one and a half cups of our everything flour. Next, I'm adding in three fourth cups of our cane wine with a sugar, one tablespoon of our bourbon powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. And you know, you're just gonna mix that thing up. Make sure it's nice and blended like your makeup. And now I'm adding in a third cup of our olive oil and three tablespoons of melted plant-based butter. And then you're gonna finish your liquids off with one and one fourth cups of plant-based milk. Next, I am adding in half a cup of our corn. Feel free to add more or less if you like. And I'm also adding in one chopped jalapeno. Again, feel free to add more or less if you like. Now I'm just going to finish off this batter with a sprinkle of our Vile Life mozzarella cheese and our Vile Life cheddar cheese shrimp as well. And you already know what time it is. You got to mix that thing up. Say it with me. Mix that thing up. <laughs> and it should be nice and blended just like that. So now all you got to do is pour this bad boy into an already greased skillet and pop it in Club 350 for 35 minutes. And when you take it out, ooh, woo, it'll look like that. Let's get into all right. it. All right, y'all. So you already know what time it is. It's time to give this baby a try. As you can see, I am not by myself. I have a special guest here. This handsome young man. Oh, he is trying this along with me. No, he is not plant-based. However... He does bust down with the plant-based lifestyle every now and then. So, before we dive in, by your head, Lord, thank you for this wonderful meal you have blessed us with this evening, Lord God. May it nourish our bodies and may it bless our palates. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, let's go. So we got the jalapeno cheddar cornbread, so moist, and we have the vegan chili. Finally. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mmm. What you think? Make it slap your mama. <laughs> babe, babe, how is it? It's good. Right? Mmm. This cornbread, y'all, is so perfect. Let me try it together. Y'all put a little bit on there. You know, it ain't nothing like chili with the cornbread. Hold up. Mm-hmm. It's fire. <laughs> Y'all gonna love this. The flavor of the chili with the cornbread is perfect. I didn't make my chili too spicy. I know a lot of people love their spicy. However, this one here can't really take the heat. So I try to be mindful of that. But overall, it's really delicious, and y'all should definitely give it a try. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and share and comment below. I want to hear from you. What are some things you would like to see me make on my channel? 
And if you make this recipe, please tag me in your post because I love to share those things on my Instagram and IG. All right. So with that being said, thanks for tuning in and I will see y'all next week. Deuces.